Uh, hello everyone. Uh, what I did for this, what I did for this final project is uh, reaction diffusion equation. Uh, first, Sorry. running running on the HPS. Running on the HPS. And and the and let's see, you chose the BZ reaction, the belasov zabatinsky reaction, and then also uh, Alan Turing's uh, morphogenic equations, right? Yes. And so what we're looking at now are the are the morphogenic equations running. Is that right? Yes, it's a morphogenic equation. Uh -huh. So basically, there's compound A and compound B. Compound B is the black screen, the whole background. Compound A is the is the circle. It's a circle you see from the beginning. In the beginning, it's a it's a it's a disc. It's a disc, and then it diffuses to the it diffuses to the outer side, and now it reacts. It reacts and it's starting to to develop ripples which will grow. Yeah. And right now this thing is running at about six frames per second. Per second. And it's running on the on the HPS, is that correct? It's, ru it's yeah. running on the HPS. Uh, it's using one processor. Okay. And, and it's starting to see the 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 symmetry get broken in yeah. on on the you can see from the symmetry, it's it's symmetric. It's symmetric from x and y, so it's symmetric with with a with the origin. So mm -hmm. within ten seconds, within ten minutes, it will reach us relatively steady state. The state is something like a Asian Chinese coin. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll let it run a little bit longer here, and then I want you to switch over to the BZ reaction. But you can see the ripples are slowly growing, yeah. and they'll grow until they dominate. We won't wait that long. Okay, why don't you switch over okay. now to the, and the and the the board being used is a, a DE1 SOC. So. This now is the BZ reaction running as a cellular automaton? Running as a cellular automaton with four rules. Like, this is uh, 100, 100 color step. So it's running at 12 frames per second. Uh, the initial, initial condition is completely random, and the boundary condition is forced to zero. Uh, it, will take about, it will take about 50 seconds to reach to a relatively steady state. And relatively steady state means here there's a bunch of reacting centers and spirals that are moving out in all directions. Yes, uh -huh. spirals moving out out of directions. Yeah. Basically, this is triggered by the it, by the boundary condition. Mm -hmm. So the boundary convert so the boundary converge to the center, relatively the center. Mm -hmm. Now you can see it's a relatively steady state. You can see the spirals spinning spinning all around. It's something like a something like a cells reaction, or mm -hmm. or compound reaction. Basically, it's basically it's simulating compound A and compound compound B react compound A and compound B reacting. Right. Something like this. Yeah. Okay. This is it. Thank you.